Sisters, welcome to another edition of The Hidden Truth. I'm Priest Kazakia. We are the ISBHPK, which is the Israelite School of Biblical History and Practical Knowledge, okay? And we're based out here in Houston, Texas, we're in San, San Antonio, Texas. Uh, uh, we've been out there for a while. Uh, you have Priest Banabad, Mashaba, Awar Na'ir, Shamshawan. These brothers have been holding it down for 20-some years out there. So if you're in the area of San Antonio, please join us. If you're in the area of Houston, Texas, please join us. And uh, we say, we'd like to say shalom to them and to High Priest Yeshaya, which is in New York. Shalom. 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 Okay, and um, we're going to go into tonight's topic. You're going to be talking about demon possession, okay? The first stages of demon possession. And because uh, a lot of people think this is a... Um, a lot of people think this is a, uh, it's a, it's a movie. Right. Yeah, they think it's a hoax. They think yeah. it's a hoax. They scare think tactics. Scare tactics is mm -hmm. not real. Mm -hmm. Right. They don't really understand that you can tap into that side and go into the left hand side. Absolutely. And and um, the first stage is what we're going to talk about tonight is really demon possession. How to let them in. How do you open the door for them, and how do you start letting these demons in? Mm -hmm. Right. You know, so this is, uh, you know, hopefully we we'll protect some brothers and sisters and uh, give them the knowledge of how, how not to, how to shut these spirits down. Right. You know, so we're going to go directly into that. Uh, so let's go to the first scripture. The first scripture is, Ecclesiastes. Uh, yeah, Ecclesiastes 39, 28. And the reason why I went here is because, you know, uh, and this is a scripture we use a lot, but uh, it's to remind us that there are spirits that will ravish, mm. that will tear, True. that will rip, yeah. that will destroy, you know, and, and the Most High does not play. So that's why I chose this as our first scripture. Go ahead. Ecclesiastes chapter 39 and verse 28. Yeah. There be spirits that it created for vengeance. Yeah, so... It, this is the fact when you go through the scriptures and like I said, we're going to go in our next show. We're going to go into how hard these demons can take over your body. Right. Yeah. But we have to get it right. There's demons. There's forces that are created to do this, that are created for the wicked, that are created for the left hand side and that call them in. And the wicked, they, they pay more attention to it than the righteous. Right. That's why they so tuned in to negativity. Yeah, we got a guy on a, uh, he looks at our live classes trying to send his little demon links in, uh, to <laughs> satanic websites. Absolutely. Well, they believe in that. Mm -hmm. But it, the point we're going to find out here tonight is not, it, is not that it's not true. Right. So, it's true. yeah, it's true. The door can be open. Yeah. That left-hand side, you can let all these forces in. And as we see with a lot of brothers and sisters on the street, oh, they open up the door quick, and these forces come in in their mind, 
their spirit, their emotions, their, you know, to where they, they start going to it, it, the stages. It, you yeah. can go through the stages. Yeah. It can get all the way to taking over your host, which we're going to get into in uh, other shows. Uh, it, it can go into, you know, you destroying yourself, destroying people around you. You know, that's the, the worst that can happen. Right. Now is the, is the level to where you start to summons them. Right. right? It's about your thoughts and, and the things you entertain. Right. That's what you bring to you. It's right. like a magnet. Whatever you point your energy towards, that's what you're going to pull to you. Right. And people take, they take it, they take it for granted because they think it's just, oh, it's just a little feeling. I just felt that way. Right. Not knowing that it's a developed pattern. Yeah. Very good point. A, de a developed pattern. Right. Read <laughs> so, that. It says, these, there be spirits that are created for vengeance. Yeah, so the reason why we, we in here, brothers and sisters, is for the scriptures to speak to you and let you know. To open this door to the left-hand side, these demons, is real. The scriptures speak about them. So when the Most High, as we go through these scriptures, and he talks about not dealing with witches, tarot card readers, soothsayers, he's saying that because he's telling us, don't do it. Right. No it's Ouija real. Boards, no, no palm reading. Ouija boards. Yeah. None of that. None right. Of that. And, and we're going to go into the other levels, too, because mm -hmm. it, it goes deep. So read it again. Uh, Ecclesiastes 39 and 28. Right. There be spirits that are created for vengeance. Right. Which in their fury lay on sore stroke. Right. In the time of destruction, they pour out their forces. Right. But when we look at the scriptures, we have to understand this is for the wicked. Right. See, the Most High created these things for the wicked, right? Okay. Uh, jump down to that point real quick. Uh, verse 29. Go ahead. Fire, hail, and famine, right. and death, mm -hmm. all these created for vengeance, teeth of wild beasts, right. and scorpions, serpents, and the sword, punishing the wicked. Punishing the wicked. Yeah, absolutely. So it's there for the wicked. You know, remember, the scriptures say that the wicked man called these things to him. Mm -hmm. Right? Yep. Sure, sure did. He, he opened the door. He opened the door and <laughs> called these things to them. Yeah. And this is, I, I'm, I'm going to push that a lot tonight because a lot of brothers and sisters opened that door for these spirits to come right in yep. and start attacking. They, mm -hmm. they show you that in movies. They show you where you in the house, but the demon's outside. Mm -hmm. The demon's just waiting on you to call him inside. He right. can't literally come into your house. Your spiritual house can't be tampered with until you call Satan and that negative into your house. Right. That's correct. That's and, and that's what we're going to talk about. Uh, go to Galatians. I, I want to add this one in here uh, really quick. And this is why it says this, because, you know, a lot of brothers think this is a joke. A lot of sisters think it's a joke. You know, they want to play around, um, they want to play around, it's actually J uh, James 4, verse 7. They want to play around with the Ouija boards. Mm -hmm. They play around with the witch music, the negative music. And we already know from past shows we did that uh, music can summons it, yep. right? Yep. You, you, you listen to the music all the time, yep. specifically, you know, like, and I'm just throwing this one out here, Rihanna's Russian Roulette. If you listen to that song, mm -hmm. that's a demonic song. Yeah. Right. You go back to the old music like uh, bo uh, bi uh, Bone Thugs. Yeah. Oh, Bone Crusher. Are you with me? Even Bone Crusher was like, I'm inside of the club. I ain't never scared. The murder rate just went up because everybody wasn't scared. Right. right. Exactly. Because the, the, those demons start coming through that. So we've been over that. Absolutely. So well, let's get a little more specific, though. James 4, verse 7. James. James. Oh, James chapter 4, verse 7. Yeah. Submit yourselves, therefore, unto the Most High. Right. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. You have to do what? Resist the devil. You have to do what? Resist the devil. See, so a lot of people open the door to Satan. They open the door for these spirits and demons and thoughts and negative. Yeah. And, uh, and it's like the vampire movies. You have to open the door yeah. and let them in. Yeah. Oh, and the thing is, they tell you that. Right. The, the demon themselves tell you that. Right. I can't come in unless you invite me. They can't force their way. It, bro, it <laughs> when, when Satan was talking to, to the Most High and he said, I, I'm walking around the earth, mm -hmm. he, he's waiting for somebody to invite him. Right. It, yeah, exactly. And, and this is what we have to stay away from. And I think, you know, these first scriptures is to show us it's really real. It's really real. So don't take it for a joke. Uh, don't think, oh, yeah, you know, that's, yeah. that's false. Yeah. You, you know, it's really, there's really a side that if you go into that side, it's going to take you into that demonic realm, and it will rip you to pieces. 
it will tear you up. You know, what's interesting is people, a lot of times, they think they're actually preparing to fight a spirit when they're actually enchanting spirits. Right. When you put the, you put the sage over, over your door, the salt on the windowsill. Right. These are things that show the demons that you actually acknowledge them. Because the most high is our strength. Yeah. He's our salvation. It's not about salt. It's not about sage. It's not about burning lavender. Right. It's about, it's about the scriptures. Right, right. Yeah, uh, you know, our brothers and sisters from New Orleans. Yeah. You know, uh, it, it's, yeah. it's very important that, you know, the old wives' tales that yeah. they tap into. Yep. You know, you got to stay away from all that. Yep. You know, uh, the, uh, you know it, it, it goes down to the, to the things they teach the kids. Step on the crack and break your break mom's back. back. Yep. That goes back to witchcraft. Yep. Yep. You know what I mean? And then they go ahead and top it all off with Halloween. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So in this opens up the door even more for these demonic forces. So, I mean, there's so many levels that we could talk about. You know, we're not going to get them all out, but we're going to try to show you how not to open up the door and what was a perfect example of how, uh, how um, uh, not to let these spirits in, okay? Uh, before we go there, read Ephesians 4, verse 27. Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 27. Right. Neither give it, place. How about... Uh, 26. Verse 26. Uh-huh. Be angry and sin not. Right. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. Because that's a way to let those demons in. Right. Why, why am I going to blow this cat's brains out? Because you're harboring. Because I'm harboring that negative. So those evil forces is evil, e e excuse me, easy to come in. Well, check it out. Read on. Verse 27. Right. Neither give place to the devil. Right. And, and what's the point? Stop opening up the door. Right. You once you open up that door to Satan, he's gonna walk, walk right in, and he's gonna it, it, it jump on you, your wife, your kids, your children. Mm -hmm. He divides. Mm -hmm. Right. He causes confusion. Absolutely. Uh, you know these are the the low levels. Like I said, the next level is right when he takes your host. That's why. That's why verse twenty six it says, "Be angry." We are, we all have emotions. We all deal with emotions. Right. But it said sin not. Yeah. That's where the Satan come in through the sin. Right. And that that's what y'all gotta understand is that we all deal with emotions, but it's about the spirit. It's about what you're dealing with in the spirit, what you allow yourself to get into you. Let's jump into this, uh, because I know we got a lot of scriptures that we want to touch on. Go to uh uh first Samuels, right? Yeah, first Samuels. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Go to first Samuels. And uh, we're going to start at chapter 28, verse 6. And uh, once again, this is a perfect example, brothers and sisters, of you opening up the door. What not to do. Why? Because Saul is going to show us what not to do. Okay, so read that. First Samuel chapter 28 and verse 6. Go ahead. And when Saul inquired of the Lord, and the Lord answered him not. Stop. We have to, this is what people don't understand. The first step to letting these spirits in is realizing that you're rejected by the most high. Mm. See, you know why? Cause what happens? The, I'm going to go to that side. I'm going to, I'm, I'm starting to veer to the other side mm -hmm. when I'm rejected by the most high. Mm -hmm. So if I realize, okay, you know what? I'm wrong. I'm off. I'm at fault. Right. Then I can correct my ways. But an uh, individual, like we're going to find out about Saul, mm. he didn't want to bear witness to that. Mm. So what did he do? He went to the left-hand side, and that's what we're going to read about. That's funny you say that because if you're not getting the most high's attention, if you, were, if you were trying to be righteous, what you could do is think or inquire, how do I get his attention? Then? Right. Let me, do, let me do this. Well, let me sacrifice. That's the righteous way. Yeah, exactly. Right. See, but if you're not getting the most high's attention... It'd be easy for you. It, 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 right then is when a lot of people turn their back. You know, they turn their back and say, okay, I, I can't get the answer from prayer. Mm. I can't get the answer from Acts and the Prophets. Mm -hmm. Wow. Right? I can't get the answer that way. This is where they start to open up that door. And we're going to find out. Check this out, man. Go ahead. Absolutely. Verse 6. Uh-huh. And when Saul inquired of the Lord. Right. And the Lord answered him not. He answered him not. So beware. You know, like I just said, beware when the Most High is not answering you. Beware what you're, where your mind strays, where you're looking at, what you're going into, because that's the perfect place and time. Instead of receiving your butt whooping, 
yeah. <laughs> from the Most High. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of receiving the correction from the prophets, the priests, you start to go in and start opening up these doors. And this is where we got to beware, man. And uh, I, I want to jump right into <laughs> everything, but because the scriptures are true, man. It's scary too because when as you as you understand this, it's like, man, you're you're a lot of brothers and sisters as they're rejected. Yep. And, and, and they're told and, and, and they're saying and we tell them we tell them brothers tell them, hey, listen, I, that's the wrong path. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't want to hear that. Mm -hmm. So they start opening up the door for those spirits to come in. And, and it starts with the thoughts. We're going to find out. Go ahead. Neither by dream. Right. Nor by Urim. Right. So it, the most high was it when it says by dream, meaning that. The prophets used to get the dreams. When you look at Daniel, mm -hmm. he the, the dreams came to Daniel and he went to to, to the uh, at that time Nebuchadnezzar, right? But when you right. look at all the other prophets, just like we're reading out in this in Sabbath class, right. we're reading about uh, Asa. I think it was uh, it was Micah and uh, yeah Jeho uh, Jehoshaphat. But yeah, Micah and Jehoshaphat. So yeah. you know, Micah would go to Jehoshaphat and tell him. The tr uh, you know the truth the the dream the vi the vision that the Mosai showed him Absolutely. right right that was shut off. You're being rejected at this time. Right. right. You're being you're back at, the Mosai's back is being is turning on you now. Oof. It's almost like a a, it's a disgruntled child. You become like this disgruntled child right. where you you your parent gave you the answer you didn't like it right so you slam your door and you're in your room I hate you that's why I, I said die that's why I said be careful be careful yeah you got to be careful because a lot of people they think oh yeah you know what uh, 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 yeah you told me this person told me I don't care mm -hmm. I do what I want mm -hmm. you're opening up that door mm. the most high you know what's one thing that uh, that in the parable the rich man asks the angel he said, could I go back and tell my brothers? Yeah. You know, in the in Lazarus, in the yeah. Lazarus yeah. bosom uh, or Abraham's bosom. Uh, he said, could I go back and tell my brothers? And he was like, no, you had the prophets. Right. <laughs> so be careful when you shut down the prophets. Be careful when you shut down the scriptures, because mm -hmm. now you're going to open up that door. Go ahead. Or by Urim or by prophets. Right. And Urim was a little it was a little thing, uh, Jew that was on the ephod. OK. And uh, and they would, you know, through this Urim, they would uh, the most High would come to them. Right. Right. go ahead. Verse seven. Uh -huh. Then said Saul to his servants, seek me a woman. Do what? Seek me a woman. So what is the first mistake? <laughs> the first mistake is being rejected by the most High. Right. Right. That's the first mistake mm -hmm. right. that you have to always try to be in the sight of the most high. The the right way. You have to come with a pure heart and humble to the most high. That's Absolutely. the first thing that we have to understand. Right. Right? Right. Okay, that was his first mistake. And, right. then, and then he was supposed to see that the most high shut his water off. That he was yeah. doing something wrong. He there you go. Check himself. He was right. supposed to check himself. There you go. He was supposed to see. Wait a minute. I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. I'm off. Yeah. But as you see, uh, you know, we can't go over the whole story, but saw he kept going he kept falling into the left hand side. He did. He, he, and this is where, this is the perfect example of what's going on here. Go ahead. Verse 7. Uh huh. Then Saul said to his servant, Seek me a woman with a fam that have a familiar spirit. Right. And that's what a lot of our people do. Yep. They go, I'm going to go to the tarot card readers. God is not answering me. Right. Mm -hmm. He's not answering my prayers. Right. So I'm going to go to the, uh, you know, the tarot card readers, the palm readers. Some of them, I'm going to go straight to a witch. Yeah. They got them, especially out this way. I'm going to go straight to a witch. Yep. You got to think about this. Yep. So this is the big mistake that is killing our people, man, that, you know, and, and, um, and remember, watch, check this out. Read on. But I may go to her. Right. And inquire of her. Right. Read. And his servant said unto him, behold, there is a woman that hath a familiar spirit mm -hmm. at Indoor. Right. Now, when we go back to Ecclesiastes 39, 28, it says there'd be spirits created for vengeance, right? right. Well, these are these familiar spirits. <laughs> they ain't there to love you and hug you and kiss you right. and invite in and, and be <laughs> angelic forces that help you. Right. These right. are demons, man. These are demons and spirits that are angry, that are upset, and and in their wrath. They tear, they destroy. Duh. They're created for vengeance. They're created for vengeance.
this guy. <laughs> that was ca that was caught up in his pride. <laughs> and instead of being humble, what did he do? Go get me a familiar spirit. What? But check this out. Verse eight. Uh -huh. And Saul disguised himself. Right. And put on other raiment. And he went and two men with him. And they came to the woman by night. Mm -hmm. And he said, I pray thee divine unto me by the familiar spirit. Right. And bring him and bring him up whom I shall name unto thee. Right. So she, he went to the witch and said, listen, I want you to bring from the dead who I'm telling you. Go ahead. Verse nine. Uh -huh. And the woman said unto him, behold, thou knowest what Saul hath done, how he hath cut off all those that have familiar spirits. You, you hear this? Yeah. So in his right mind, he knew not to deal with it. Yeah. See, and this is what we what we have to understand. See, when you're in your right mind, those spirit, the righteous spirits in the in the right spirit and following the commandments, you know, don't follow this. He originally put away the the suit, the seers, the people with the familiar spirits. He knew. The wizards. Yeah. He knew. Yeah. Listen, in verse eight, it said that he disguised himself. Right. Yeah. So he himself knew it wasn't right. 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 So why would you if it was something that was acceptable, why would you have to hide what you're doing? Right. Right, right. And, and, and you see, this is where uh, uh, he starts falling and starts going off and these demons start getting a hold in him. Oof. But you, like I said, this is the first stage, you know, because uh, it, it gets worse. Go ahead. Uh, verse nine. Uh -huh. And the woman said unto him, behold, thou knowest what Saul had done, how he hath cut off those that have the familiar spirit. Because that Saul, he was following the commandments of the Most High. Go yeah. ahead. And the wizards. Right. Out of the land. Right. Wherefore? Then let, then layest thou a snare for my life? Right. So you're, you basically you're trying to trick me. You right. know that that none of us, every, all of us is supposed to be hid. No. Yeah. Right. So you're trying to trick me to bring me out so I can get killed. Right. Go ahead. To cause me to die. Right. Verse ten. Mm -hmm. And Saul swear by her, by the swear to her by the Lord. Right. Then, <laughs> <laughs> That's you can tell you got demons on you, man. You're gonna swear to a witch in the name, in the of, the name of the, the Most High. Lord. This is a, this. <laughs> what, what does that show you? That's why we tell brothers and sisters they gotta come to Sabbath class because we go through a lot of these readings. But you you have to see you keep making one dumb mistake after another. The scriptures say a wise man, a righteous man's footsteps are guided by the Most High. Mm-hmm. If you start looking at your path and you just took one rational look at yourself, you'll start seeing yourself doing more stupid stuff upon stupid stuff to where it leads you to the dark side. Yep. You understand? It yeah. leads you to the dark side. And this is what this man is doing. He's being led. He's led by his pride mm -hmm. to the dark side. Duh. Right? Like, Watch. Like I got you. Like, I got you. Right. Don't That's worry. Listen, Go for, hold that and go there uh, real quick. Go to... Uh, Go to Ecclesiastes 10, verse 12. Okay. Ecclesiastes 10, verse 12. I want you to stay where you're at, though. Okay. Uh, if you can read that, Ecclesiastes 10, verse 12. Ecclesiastes 10, verse 12. And let's understand what is going on with Saul. Go ahead. The beginning of pride is when one departed from the Most High. See, it, his departing started with pride. Yeah. When David was lifted up, right, in the beginning... When Saul messed up, he was supposed to humble. Mm -hmm. David was lifted up, he was supposed to humble. But he didn't want that. You see that? Okay. So pride came in. If you want to know how you start opening up the door for these demons, pride. You don't want to hear. You don't want to listen. You, don't want, you know it all. And then those, those spirits can come in and easily get in. Go ahead. Uh, oh, re go ahead, read on. And his heart is turned away from his maker. Yeah, and what do we have here? The Most High didn't answer him. <laughs> so what did he go do? He went to a witch. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Go ahead. Go jump back. He left from his maker. Go ahead. Verse 10. Mm -hmm. And Saul swear by her, swear to her by the Lord. Right. Saying, as the Lord liveth, there shall no punishment happen to thee right. for this thing. Mm -hmm. Verse 11. Then the woman whom I, then said the woman. Whom shall I bring unto thee? And he said, Bring me up Samuel. Right. Verse 12. And when the woman saw Samuel, he cried. She cried with a loud voice. And the woman spake to Saul, saying, 
Why hast thou deceived me? Right, because what you're doing, you're bringing up a prophet. Now listen, why did this all have to play out? One, for our example, to show us that witches are real. Right. Two, to show Saul that you're out of your mind. <laughs> <laughs> that was the point with Saul, like you're out of your mind. Yeah. Watch, watch what Samuel says, read on. For thou art Saul. Uh-huh. And the king said unto her, be not afraid, for what sawest thou? And the woman said unto Saul, right. I saw gods ascending out of the earth. Right. And he said unto her, for, uh, you, what? You got to think about this. If this wasn't real, why did you see gods descending out of the earth? <laughs> you know that? Yeah. If this isn't real, if, if, if it wasn't in their power to tap into that left hand side mm -hmm. and, and to call these summons, these spirits up, then why would she see these things? You know, that, so when, when they draw their circle and do the pentagram in the circle, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and do their candle worship, right? Yep. They're calling and summoning these demons to them. Mm -hmm. And that's when you go through all these movies, uh, you know, that, you know, they think is a game. They pull out the yeah. Ouija board, yeah. right? Yeah. They, they, they get high. They hit the PCP. Yeah, they're chanting. They're chanting, right? And they're doing it intentionally. Yeah. You know, and a lot of our people, they be around these type of individuals and then they start getting the spirits on them. A lot of our people, they be around these type of individuals and then they start getting the spirits on them. 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 Right? Just Give me that one in Revelations about the frogs, right? But go ahead, you were going to say something. No, in, uh, in verse 10 it says, And Saul swear to her by the Lord, saying, right. As the Lord liveth. He's saying things that ain't even in his power. Like, right. you can see where he's out of his mind. Right. First of all, you swearing, you swearing to the Lord, to this woman, right. that ain't nothing, as long as the Lord live, right. nothing's going to happen to you. Right. He's yeah, out yeah. of his wits. We can see that. You, <laughs> his whole actions were wrong. Yeah. Even his speech. But remember, brothers and sisters, it starts with pride. Mm -hmm. It starts with pride. The reason why I'm, I'm giving you that key is this is how you're going to open up the door. You're going to reject this knowledge. Then it says wisdom, the Holy Spirit will not enter. Yep. See, you, you let the Holy Spirit out. Now you let those demons come right in. Yeah. So uh, read that. Uh, Revelation 16, 13. Revelation chapter 16 and verse 13. Go ahead. And I saw three unclean spirits uh -huh. like frogs right. come out of the mouth of the dragon. Right. So remember, this is all symbolism. Okay. So but these what it's showing us is that these unclean spirits, they jump like frogs. Right. Okay. Why? Why is it saying that? Why is it telling us this? You know, uh, look at the movie Fallen, right? Where right. did they get that from? <laughs> the Bible. They got it from the Bible. When he touched this person, when he touched that person, when he was around this person, you're around someone that is harboring these spirits. Yeah. Where do you think these movies come from, brothers and sisters? Yep. They come from the, the white man tapping into this side, laying butt naked in the middle of a pentagram and letting demons screw him yeah. or her. They know how to tap into that side. So where did they, where did they get this, where did they get this from? Like uh, spirits moving from one individual to another, they get it out of the Bible. So what they do is they go to the Bible and you know how we're looking at it and saying, oh yeah, stay away from that. They're looking at it and saying, I want that, yeah. right? Yeah. Like the individual, like I said, that texts us, he said, oh, you have to hate God and, and reject him. He didn't listen to you. We're like, you, this guy's a real devil, devil worshiper, but that's the way they believe. Yep. That's the way they think, right? Mm -hmm. And we're finding out it's real. Okay, it's real. go ahead. Oh, uh, verse, uh, back yeah. in Samuel? No, uh, yeah, go back in Samuel's. Okay, back in Samuel's chapter uh, chapter 28 and verse, verse uh, 11. Yeah. And said the woman, mm -hmm. whom shall I bring unto thee? 
And he said, bring me up salt. And verse 12. And when the woman saw Samuel, she cried, she cried with a loud voice. And the woman spake to Saul, saying, Why hast thou deceived me? For thou art salt. Right. And the king said unto her, Be not afraid, for what sawest thou? And the woman said unto Saul, I saw gods ascending out of the earth. Mm -hmm. Verse 14. And he said unto her, What form is he of? Mm -hmm. And she said, An old man cometh up, and he is covered with a mantle. Mm -hmm. And Saul perceived it, perceived that it was Samuel. Right. And he stopped, and he stooped his face to the, to the ground, and bowed himself. And Samuel said to Saul, Why hast thou disquiet, disquieted me? Right. To bring me up. And Saul answered, I am sore distressed, for the Philistines make war against me, and God is departed from me. Right. So he knew. He knew the Most High wasn't with him. Right. And uh, really, a lot of brothers and sisters, you know, when they, when they lose faith, Right. You lose hope. Right. Uh, you you start to look for another path, and 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 this is where you have to humble and go back to the Bible, go back to the prophets, and ask, what do I do to be in the Most High's eyes righteous? Mm -hmm. We get a lot of people that call us, man. You know, I got spirits hunting me. Yeah. They hunt. They choke me. They yeah. do this, that. Well, what are you around? Yeah. You didn't know Grandma was a witch. Yep. She had candles and a pentagram under her bed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, where are you staying at? You move right into the house. Yeah, you, you move into the house. clean it out. You don't even move them. A lot of these people don't even move out the old furniture. No. Nah. None of this stuff. They, because we so used to thinking things that just go away. Right. If I just think it ain't there, it already there. It's been there for generations. Yeah. Even when, you know, what's crazy is... If you look at incest, these are things that are caused from generational to generational where it affects your bloodline. And then when you tap into things like like witchcraft and things like that, it taps into your bloodline. When right. you give a child to the fire, it goes into your bloodline. So yeah. you have to be in those scriptures and wash your mind and watch the things that you're paying attention to. Yeah, and a lot, a lot of people don't see, they don't take it that serious. Yeah. So, you know, they, they deal with grandma or she got the uh, doll. Yeah. She got the candles. Right. Uh, or she she has a uh, you know, she's telling you the little wives tales. Oh, give me a piece of his hair. Yeah. I bear his drawers in the back. Yeah. Bears. <laughs> right. Bears draws. <laughs> you know what? Listen, they do that still. Yeah. I've heard that from a sister out in Florida. She said the Levi, our Levi brothers and sisters, they they're still tapped in yep. and use the negative. Yeah, what they be like? Like, I'm, what I'm gonna do is, let me see, cause like she had kept her panties. Here. Her panties? It's nasty, I know, but girl, you kept her panties? Yeah, but like I have to like in the case, I guess they learned it in Africa. Yeah. Showed me a long time ago. Yeah. What is it like? Look, what you doing? Like, why you putting the yeast in there? Is it gonna make you better? No, it's gonna make him only gonna hug. Like, oh, okay. Like a potion, gonna, love yeah, potion shit. It's only gonna look. Ugh. Let me see that. Ugh. It's hers, girl. I have to. What? You gotta put, like. You don't gotta put that much. Oh, shit. Shit, I need to get on me. <laughs> Damn. Damn, that's your heart. I know. I, mean, I don't think I should have left it in the refrigerator, but it's yeast. <laughs> this shit. I ain't want this shit to rise. I don't know. I'm probably just thinking crazy. You got to get it. The cake smells good, but I ain't going to eat none of this shit because <laughs> I probably have to make me another cake or some shit. All right. Oh. You want to bite this? Mm -mm. <laughs> <sighs> this shit is... Okay, I think that's enough. It kind of... I ain't gonna say it, but... It kind of what? kind of stay? <laughs> Didn't I tell you I have to get it to her? I'm taping this for her. You gonna say it. 
You kind of stink. These are fucking pennies. Oh, shit. Yeah, right. And I can't. Mm. Okay, I think, yeah, because he, he going to eat this whole motherfucking cake. I don't know nobody ever do me like this. Yeah. And then I'm going to put this in here. He'll be over here later on, so... Yeah. So once again, resist the devil, right? Yeah. Where, 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 where are we at? Let's finish um, that up. Verse 15, last pre uh, second and last precept. Right. Uh, has departed from me <laughs> and answered me no more. Right. Neither by prophets nor by dreams. Right. So, so it's telling us by prophets or by dreams. Right. See, he wasn't getting nothing. nothing. No answer. Go ahead. Therefore, I called thee. Right. That thou may, may makest, thou mayest make me uh, known unto what I shall do. Right. So it, we have to look at this, man. The the steps. These are the steps. Pride. Pride gets in. Mm -hmm. Then you start to panic. Right. You start to lose faith and hope in the Most High, and and and, it, and you start to go down that left hand side, that left path. I want you to hold that. Go from there. Go to Mark three verse twenty seven. And uh, yeah, brothers and sisters, the point of this show is to show how not to let these spirits in. But next show, the next part of this show, uh, we're not going to go over it tonight, but we will go over it. It shows you how deep the demons can grasp a hold of you. So this is just to show you, stay away from that, man. Stay away from the tarot card readers. Tear away, stay away from the soothsayers. Stay away from your auntie that cuts off the piece of hair and, 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 and burns, burns uh, flowers or draws or, yeah. or, or dolls or whatever to what, whatever spirit she's dealing with. Yeah. The most I ain't dealing with that. Stay away from that. Right. Don't pay don't pay your your zodiac sign uh uh reading more attention than the yeah. scriptures. That that's why we have to you know, sometimes we like, yo, what's your sign? You know, just for like talking, right? Yeah. Conversation but piece. people really dab into that. Yeah. They really get books. Seriously. The, yeah. They go into the readings, Seriously. they're Googling it, they're looking and choosing their mate off of that and not really understanding the most I said Leave that alone for a reason, mm -hmm. right? So read that, Mark 3, uh, verse 27. Mark 3 and 27. Yeah. No man can enter into a strong man's house right. and spoil his goods, except he first bind the strong man. So this is what we have to understand, brothers and sisters. The first stages to letting these demons in, they have to bind the righteous man. They have to bind that man. They have to hold him down and gag him. In the spirit. And how does that happen? He gags you with pride. He bounds you with you losing humility and faith and hope in the Most High. Yep. And now you have no other resort, resort but to tap into the left-hand side. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get high. I got to tap in that way. I'm going to do the PCP. Right. I'm going to tap in that way. I'm going to I'm gonna, uh, 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 sleep with this woman. Mm -hmm. She's a witch. Mm -hmm. Right? That's another way. Yeah. yeah. You know, so these ways, man, we have to stay away from. This is how they get in. They bind the strong man. Go ahead. And then he will spoil his house. Right. And then they will spoil. Right. right. Go ahead. That's, uh, uh, I got actually I got a scripture to go with that. OK, read on. Read on. Verily, I say unto you. All sins shall be forgiven unto the sons of men. Right. Unto the sons of men. Go ahead. And blasphemies. Wherewith, soever they shall blaspheme. Right. But he that shall blaspheme against the Holy Spirit. But he that does what? Blaspheme against the Holy Spirit. This is what Saul did. He mm. blasphemed the Holy Spirit. Darn. You understand? So yeah. that, that's why I said read down because mm. this is where those spirits start to, that you hear them. You hear them. I don't believe in God. F God. Yeah. Right? Uh, yeah. F your Christ. They wear it on their clothes now. They yeah. Boy, they flamboyant now. They, they say that and they believe it. Mm -hmm. Right? They blaspheme. So what they're doing, watch. Hold that. And I, I'm going to add this one. What is it? Wisdom of Solomon? Check this out. Chapter 2. Yeah. Uh, you get it real quick. You stay where you're at. We have to get this scripture uh, because this is, uh, this is the thing that they blaspheme. Right? Read, read where you're at. Uh, who has the scripture? Who was reading? Uh, I was reading. Okay, you were reading. Yeah. Give me your apocrypha. I'm going to get it real quick. I got you. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon what? I'm going to find it real quick. Finish reading. 
Verse 29. Uh -huh. But he that shall blaspheme against the Holy Spirit has never forgiveness, but is in danger of eternal damnation. Right. So this is, this is what the Most High is trying to show us. This is wisdom of Solomon. Okay. One verse four. Let me, and we, it's going to show you where Saul went to. That's why you brothers and sisters have to beware. Read this. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 1, and verse 4. Read. For into a malicious soul. Read 3, bro. R verse 3. Mm -hmm. For forward thoughts separate from God. Right. For forward thoughts, wicked thoughts. Mm -hmm. Right. These rebellious thoughts. Right. Separate you from God. Mm -hmm. So it gets you to this point of blasphemy. Right. For him to swear by the name of the Most High. Right. In the middle of a witch that right. you cast out. <laughs> <laughs> Pulling up a prophet, that's blasphemy. Right. Go ahead. And his power. Right. When it is tried. When it is what? When it is tried. Read. Reproveth the, the unwise. Right. Read on. Verse uh, 4. For into a malicious soul, wisdom shall not enter. That's, this is what's happening here. The spirit is running from this cat. Why? Because these malicious, this malicious spirit he had against David. Right? Mm -hmm. Right. The spirit of evil he had on him, it came through pride, it came through jealousy, it came through envy. Right. That, once again, this is the opening of letting these demons in. Oof. And you see what level he's going to go to. Now, if y'all know the story of Saul, <laughs> he goes all the way to kill David. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes, sir. Go ahead, read on. For into a malicious soul, wisdom shall not enter. Right. Nor dwell in the body. Nor what? Dwell in the body. The Holy Spirit cannot dwell in the body. Read. That is subject unto sin. So he he re, he blasphemed. He rejected the Most High. Yeah. See, y'all see that? Yeah. So this is a uh, this is man. Uh, the Most High is showing us, without a doubt, how to avoid how to avoid letting these demons in, letting these forces in. Right. You know that's why, brothers and sisters, you need to study your Bible. You need to get in your scriptures, and you need to understand how to protect yourself. From letting these thoughts, pride, envy, jealousy, hatred, all these thoughts get in. Because as soon as they get in and they overcome you more than the Holy Spirit, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. If you don't have humility, man, it's over. And uh, Because that pride mixed with, mixed with, uh, with, with negative, it's over. Yeah. No. They can't get in. Nobody can tell you anything. You can't be told anything no more. So I want you to jump back. Did you finish that in, um, in Mark? Uh, about yeah. the Holy Spirit? We yes, finished sir. that one? Yes, sir. Okay, now you have some? Yeah, uh, uh, Romans chapter 6 and verse 16. Yeah. Okay. Romans 6 verse 16. Right, so uh, brothers and sisters, once again, look out for the second part of this show because we, we're going to show you how deep it can get and these spirits can tear into you. Yeah. Go ahead. Romans chapter 6 and verse 16. Yeah. Know ye not that whom ye yield yourselves servants to obey his servants ye are to whom ye obey and that and that's what you got to see is that when you give your energy your time to negative people you give yourself to to these spirits man and then you're in your mind you're thinking i i, I just right. having a little fun or i'm just entertaining right right and, and you don't end up realizing that you become a servant to that yeah that exactly demon now that you entertained it's a part of you. Yeah, it's a part. Of you. It starts. It starts ruling you, yeah. taking taking over you. Now, uh, what level? Uh, once again, uh, it tells you. It tells you in what is it, James, about uh, hatred. Was right. that that was James, right, or Ephesians? Was, uh, I, I think it was uh, either James or Ephesians. Ephesians. We we just touched on. It. Right. It tells you about hatred. Right. Right. That's the perfect way for these demons to get in. Yep. I hate this individual so much. This is what we're learning about uh, Saul. I hate him so much that I'm gonna let anger. I'm gonna let resentment, and all the way till I go murder this individual. Right. And that's the problem with well, all of our people. They don't know how to forgive. They don't know how to let go. That demon gets a hold of them, right. and they go blow that damn person's brain out. Right, right. You got to let these things go, man. Yeah. They all have 
a consequence. Every thought has, like they say in the world, for every action, there's a reaction. There's spirits behind everything you do. Yeah. Even the world tell you that. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, where are we at? Uh, Romans chapter 6 and verse 16. Right. Go ahead and read it from the top again. Okay. Know ye not to whom ye yield yourselves servants to obey. Right. His servants ye are to whom ye obey. Right. So who you opening up the door for? Right. Once yeah. you open up the door for Satan, yep. that's going to be your God. Yep. Yeah. Who you giving yourself to, man? If you gave yourself to the Most High, you would get the results from the Most High. Mm -hmm. But when you start tapping into negative, those demons, those entities, now the spirits that are there to appease that demon and that energy come straight for you. Yes, sir. Go from there. Go to Chronicles. First Chronicles 10 verse 13. First Chronicles 10, 13, and we're going to jump a little bit and we're going to jump back because uh, we, we got to get this point, man. We got to crush this point right here. Brothers and sisters, beware. Resist the devil and he shall flee from you. Go ahead. First Chronicles chapter 10 and verse 13. Go ahead. So Saul died for his transgressions. Go ahead. Which he committed against the Lord. Right. Even against the word of the Lord. Read. Which he kept not. He didn't keep the word of the Mosai. Mosai put him to death, man. Now, we was just reading about the other day, uh, one of the uh, kings that it said he had a sore disease to where his his bowels yeah. fell out. Uh, the Most High is not playing with this, man. So Ugh. you have to think about this man blasphemed. Now, Saul's head got chopped off, put on a stake to where they had to go get his head back. And they, they pinned his wall to uh, his, pinned his body. body to a wall. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Read on. Oh, man. Go ahead. Uh, even against the word of the Lord, Read. which he kept not. Read. And also for asking counsel. For, why, why did this happen? Asking counsel. A asking advice. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's okay to tear a car read. Yeah. It's okay to go to Cleo. It's okay to go auntie. She knows how to read your palm. This is what all these witch movies are promoting. Right. The vampire movies, they're promoting homosexual vampires that tap into the left side, yeah, right? That's the truth. And then you got the witch movies. They're, right. they're teaching our children on how to tap into the left side. If you want power, say these words and then twist your hand this way and yeah. twerk your oh, body but that now way. it's cool to be a witch. Yeah. Now it's cool to be a warlock or a vampire. Yeah. You know, because when you get into that vamp vampirism, that's where it goes to also. Yeah. The drinking of the blood, all that. It goes into the left-hand side. See, people don't understand that. It ain't just about vampires were cool. Yeah. That vampirism, it goes into homosexual vampires. Man. Oh, actually. When I you, know somebody that used to do that. When you break it down, when you break it down, because the, the vampires are possessed by this ancient spirit, right? Right. So what you, what you do in order for you to become possessed, you drink that, that contaminated blood. Right. You, you're doing a blood transfusion. Right. Because you're infusing your blood with that, with that possessed right, blood right. now. Yeah, and you know what? This sounds like cartoons to the foolish, man. But to people that actually do that, they know what they're doing. Yeah. A lot of these people actually do that and believe it. It's I mean, and, and got and has these forces on them. There's a script, uh, real quick, if we can go to uh, Leviticus 19 and verse 31. Because this is yeah. a commandment. Yeah. This is one of the Levit Levitical laws. Yeah, yeah. I, I even read it. It's, it's uh, Leviticus it. 19 and verse uh, 31. You go, got it? Go ahead yeah. and read it. Regard not them with a familiar spirit, mm -hmm. neither seek after wizards. These things been around. Yeah. This ain't nothing new. This is part of the law. He's like, listen, don't deal with them people. Yeah. They got familiar spirits, and yes, there is a such thing as weird wizards. Really? Right, right, right. This goes into Halloween. Yeah. Why do you think you, you should not dress your kids up like ghouls and goblins and witches and warlocks? Yeah. Because it's teaching them, oh, it's cool. Yeah. Now, instead of seeking the Most High, seeking the counsel, it said... The counsel. Counsel is advice. Right. He didn't go to the scriptures, the knowledge, the most high. Yep. That's like they're teaching our kids. That I'm not going to go to the Bible for the answer. I'm going to go to the witches, mm -hmm. the warlocks. Yeah. Right? All the video right. games, when you start playing them, you can only make it so far. Then you got to use the Ouija board to open this and touch this brick. And you got to put this candle over here. Right. And they're chanting. In the video games. In right, video right, right. Games. In video games. A lot of people will say, well, what, what's the big deal? Well, where does this bring you to? Yeah. Where does where does witches and warlocks bring you to? We're going to get into that. Let's finish this one real quick, though. Uh, Go ahead. Verse, uh, regard not them with the familiar spirit. Uh -huh. Neither seek after wizards to be defiled by them. Right. And that's what it does. It defiles you. That's why he said, don't deal with a man. It's going to defile you. Mm -hmm. Now you're unclean. Mm -hmm. uh, like you said, um, 
the spirit won't enter in a malicious spirit. Right, right. Now you got an unclean spirit. The spirit can't deal with you. Right. You're unclean. Right. Go ahead. That was it. Okay, Leviticus 20, verse 27. Let's go to that one, and then give me Galatians 5, verse 19. That time is winding down. I'm just trying to get the, these few out. Leviticus chapter 20, verse 27. Right. A man also, or a woman, that hath a familiar spirit. Right. It, for, when it says familiar spirit, it's talking about these spirits are, that, are, it, that are enticing, uh, allu alluding to wickedness, mm -hmm. right? Alluding to witchcraft, mm -hmm. uh, and and once again, not to keep saying the same thing or reiterating the same thing, but everything on TV, everything on movies, right? Right? Those are those familiar spirits. Go ahead. A uh, man also or a woman right. that has a familiar spirit, mm -hmm. or that is a wizard. Go ahead. Shall surely be put to death. Go ahead. They shall stone them with stones. Their blood shall be upon them. Right, and then we know the other scripture, the Most High said, you're supposed to burn a witch. Yeah. yeah. Right? <laughs> so this is, the most, we have to understand that, you know, we're going over this class scripturally to teach our young brothers and sisters to know that it is real. Beware, stay away from it, okay? Stay away from that side. Now, why? You say, well, I'm a good witch, yeah, you I'm, have those. Yeah, I wear the yeah. white with the with yeah. crystals. Yeah, <laughs> I'm uh, the good Wiccans. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm a nature. I'm a nature witch. Right, I'm a nature. Yeah. That, that's not. <laughs> <laughs> Go to Galatians, man. Read that Galatians <laughs> five nineteen. Let's let's see what the Most High says. Check this out. Go ahead. Galatians five and nineteen. Go ahead. Now the works of the flesh are manifest. These are the works of the what? Flesh. Stop it. Stop it. You know why? Because stop all the. I'm trying to get around me being a witch. You're a witch. You know what I mean? I'm a white witch. I'm a black witch. You're a witch. And the most I said to be put, you be put to death in the kingdom. Mm -hmm. You know, so if you don't let it go now, the most I is going to destroy you. OK, mm -hmm. if he don't destroy you already with all these demons taking over your mind, Oof. you know, uh, but a lot of these witches start start. Uh, man, they could do some wild things. Huh? Mm -hmm. Check this out. This says they are what? The works of the flesh. Now, the works of the flesh. Go ahead. Are manifest. Yeah, read. Which are these. Which are what? Read. Adultery. Yeah, that's the works of the flesh. Adultery. Go ahead. Fornication. Uh, sleeping around with everybody. Idols, right? Go ahead. Uncleanliness. What? Uncleanliness. It, uh, uncleanliness is beating off, yakking off all the time, right? Uh, 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 sexual pleasures, deviant sexual pleasures. Go ahead. Lasciviousness. Right, which is that deep down dirty lust go ahead adultery uh, idolatry. idolatry right now you're getting into the worshiping of idols right mm -hmm. now uh, uh, uh b believe it or not a lot of people still do that they worship they get the saint saint this or saint that candle mm -hmm. right yeah. we've been over that before go ahead witchcraft what witchcraft these are the works of the what flesh do you understand <laughs> witchcraft <laughs> is the works of the flesh yep See, when we get blessed and endowed with the spirit, we don't got to draw a circle. You don't have to draw a circle or get a piece of hair and, and throw some salt on the ground. You don't have to do that. The most high will answer you through prayers, right? He'll send an angel to you and you don't got to cut yourself up to get the answer. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. oh, please. Yeah. You have to just face the east. And pray. Right. The Most High will answer you. Oh, when, right? When, oh, well, uh, I was going to say, when Christ told the disciples to get rid of this uh, one possession they were trying to do, this exorcism, mm -hmm. he said, this comes through prayer and through fasting. Right. Because not, because not only if you, don't, if you pray, you're not going to get the answer right away, right. but you've got you to gotta give it some time. Right. The Most High is not going to move on your time. Right. So he wants to see if you're going to be consistent in the prayer and the if fasting. If you're going to be faithful. Yeah. See, because it, it goes back to Saul. Why was he wasn't faithful? So he went to the left hand side. Exactly. The most high is the control of everything. This is what these yeah. ignorant people don't understand. He's the father of spirits. He's the father of all the left, <laughs> the left hand spirits, the right hand spirits. Yeah. But let's get it. Let's finish this up. Go ahead. Hatred. Read. Variance. Read. Uh, emulation. Read. Wrath. Strife. Sedition. Right. Heresy. Idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, uh, 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 variance, uh, emulation, wrath, strife, sedition. Go ahead. Heresies. Right. I just want, I went over, I don't want to make sure I missed anything, but these are works of the flesh to be a witch, to deal with witchcraft. Go from there, go to 1 Samuel 15, verse 20. We're running out of time here. Read that. 1 Samuel 15, verse 20. 
And you're going to read down to verse 22. And then you get 1 Samuel 16, verse 13. Go ahead. 1 Samuel chapter 15 and verse 20. Go ahead. And Saul said unto Samuel, Yea, I have, I have obeyed the voice of the Lord. Right. So the reason I went backwards on this is uh, he had the demons on him. But now we're finding out why. Because in his mind, he was thinking he was doing it the right way. The Most High told him to go king, kill, uh, kill King Ag Agag. I think it was, and I think it was of the Amalekites, mm -hmm. and he ends up saving him, right? He did. He ends up saving him. So according to him, he's what? Mm -hmm. you, you see that? You see? You see these markings of how do you know you're slipping in your brain? Because there's a way that seemeth right unto a man, yep. but the ends End thereof is the death. Yep. He was yep. right in his mind. The com the commandment was to kill King Agag. Right. His mind was, I'm going to preserve him, right? There's a way that seemeth right, the end thereof is death. Read on. And have gone the way which the Lord sent me. Yeah, this is in his head. Go ahead. And have brought Agag, mm -hmm. the king of Amalek, and the, and have utterly destroyed go, go the Amalekites. The Amalekites. Go ahead. Oh, sorry. But the people took the spoils, sheep and oxen, and the, she, and the chief of the things which should have been utterly destroyed. He's the king. He's trying to blame it on the people. Go ahead. To sacrifice unto the Lord thy God. Go ahead. And Gilgad. Uh, and, Samuel hath, and Samuel said, Hath the Lord as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifice as in obeying the voice of the Lord? So now we're understanding. This all came down to obedience. Mm -hmm. He lost his obedience to the Most High. This is, why, this is where you start getting these spirits. And that obedience, man, uh, fathers, mothers, Beware of this. It's stripped from your children from the youth. Yep. It's stripped from them to be obedient to the most high. And as they get older, they go to the left hand side. They tap into the homosexuality. Yep. They tap into the drugs, the music. They tap into the music. And now they're tattooing upside down crosses. Yep. They're, they're uh, you know, yep. slitting their wrists to yep. get away of the pain. Yeah, tattooing their eyes dark so they can look like spirits. Like demons. Yeah. You know what I mean? Cutting their face open now yeah. to and in, in showing their teeth on the side. Yeah. That's demonic. That's a demonic representation of what force has taken over you. Yep. Right? So this is what's saying. This is what it. This is how it happened. His obedience. Go ahead. And Samuel said, uh, uh, no, second precept. Right. Behold, yeah. to obey is better than to sacrifice. Right. And to hearken than the fat of ram. Right. Verse 23. Right. So that, that's the point I wanted to bring out there is that all he had to do was be obedient, but he didn't. Go read that. First Samuel 16, verse 13. Then Samuel took the horn of oil and uh -huh. anointed him in the midst of his brothers. Go ahead. And the spirit of the Lord came upon David. See, this is where the envy came in. The envy came in Saul because if you know the Bible, uh, and uh, I wanted to get it, but the spirit was on Saul at one time. The Holy Spirit was on Saul. I thought I actually had it in here. The Holy Spirit was on Saul, mm -hmm. but it left him. Oh, it left him because David is now. Check this out. This is going to go on and tell us. Watch. Read on. The spirit I, of I'm the Lord ahead. came upon David. Uh -huh. And from that day forward, so Saul rose up and went to Ramah. Read. But the spirit of the Lord departed from Saul. What? The spirit of the Lord departed from Saul. Read. And an evil spirit from the Lord troubled him. This is the openings of how you let in the beginning stages of those evil spirits he was haunted with disobedience pride envy jealousy hatred that was just the opening right. and now saw it to where he went to the witches right right now this is saw right uh opening up think about it uh he never got tore or ripped or the you know opening up his mouth and his head coming off right right or walking backwards right this is just one stage Right. This is the first stage. Now, as we go into this, what you got? Uh, this is Matthew chapter 12 and verse 43. Mm -hmm. uh, it says, when the, when, the sp when the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through dry places, seeking rest, and findeth none. Then he said, I will return unto my house from which I came out, right. and from which he is come. Right. Findeth it empty, swept, and, and garnished. Right. Uh, verse 45. 
Then goeth he and taketh with him seven more, uh, seven other spirits, right. more wicked than himself. Right now we're gonna uh, we're gonna bring this out on the next show too, right? Because there's levels to this. Exactly. Now he see saw when you look at him, how many demons took over him? How many spirits took over him to where he had to raise a witch? More wicked than the first. More wicked than the first. Duh. This is what we got to watch out. Brothers and sisters, uh, now how do we know that they start taking over your mind? We, we just said it. Pride, envy, jealousy, hatred, yep. right? Yep. Uh, disobedience to the Most High. Yep. Go to uh, read that. Ecclesiastes 13, verse 25. Ecclesiastes 13, 25. And then give me Ecclesiastes 25, verse 17. Because these, I'm sorry, these are, uh, these are the tell signs to know when you look at people. Because you, you ever looked at a person? Yeah. We ever looked at a person and be like, man, this person got something's wrong with them. Yeah. Right? Their eyes are gone. Dude. How do you think Saul looked? Dark. <laughs> Read it. Ecclesiastes Read. chapter 13, and verse 25. Read. The heart of a man changeth his countenance. The what? The heart of a man changes his conscience. Because he left this, he let these spirits in. See, uh, he let these spirits in, so it changed his look. Mm -hmm. Now, this is gonna be our this is gonna be us going into this next class. It changed his appearance. Yep. So a lot of people think, oh yeah, I'm not noticeable. Yeah. I'm not no noticeable that I'm at home cutting myself. Yep. I'm not noticeable that I'm at home uh, you know, sitting on pipes. You know what I mean? To to get some some, some arousing. Uh, to get some arousing to tap into the left hand side. Because that's another thing that the demons like, right? Yep. They want you to tap it. Why do you think the Illuminati does it? The uh, the the orgies and all these things. They figure the flesh taps you into that side. And when you go into the devil's the devil's Bible, it tells you to go into your flesh. Yep. Go ahead, read on. Whether, uh, whether it be for good or evil. Read it one more time from the top. The heart of a man changes his countenance. Yeah, so brothers and sisters, the heart of a man changes his countenance. When you start letting these four in, that's it. Your countenance, your face yep. change. That's why it tells you this. Read the other scripture. Ecclesiastes 25 and 17. Go ahead. The wickedness of a woman. The what? Wickedness of a woman. Right. Changes her face. Right. She said a wi the wickedness of a woman changes her face. And do it what? And darken if her countenance. The, when you look at a harlot, when you look at a harlot and she got those demons on her, mm -hmm. you can tell her countenance, her spirit, her face yeah. is like like she's dipped in 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 uh, in negative. Yeah. Mm. So this is th that intro to how these spirits start getting in, and they, and they start taking over your countenance, your look, your appearance, and, and, you know, it goes to the next level where your teeth start falling out, mm. where you start doing evil. You have a smell to you. You have a smell to you. Yep. It's like you become a tuning fork. You, you start bringing, you know, it's so real, man, that people really don't understand. If we ourselves have a conscience and we have a, a thought process, why wouldn't you think that the things that you do don't have a reaction. Right. The spirits see that. They are in tune. And, and a lot of people don't see that. We're, we, our spiritual antenna can yeah. go to the right hand or the left. And that was the point of the one you read. Mm -hmm. It says his countenance is going to show whether he's on the left hand side or the right. So with that, brothers and sisters, we thank you all for tuning in. We'd like to say shalom. Shalom. shalom.